If you are new to SWAM, what you'll learn today will radically change the way you make music with virtual instruments. The key is in understanding the fundamental differences between simple sample playback and SWAM's sophisticated modeling technology. Let's take a look at some of these differences. Sample instruments use sample libraries, which are large collections of recordings, one of which is triggered each time you press a key. When you buy a sample library, it can take hours to download. With SWAM, you download only a few hundred megabytes, which takes just seconds. Long load times are a problem again when you select a preset for a sample instrument because initializing the preset requires loading all of its samples for the different articulations at various dynamic levels into RAM. SWAM does not require any preloading to put all of an instrument's articulations at your fingertips right away. Preloading all those samples for a preset of a sample instrument demands a huge amount of RAM as well as disk storage. SWAM's RAM and hard disk footprints are only a fraction the size. Most importantly, your musical workflow is not broken to search for the right articulation sample or the right sample bank for a part because you shape the sound in real time. And just as with acoustic instruments, no one can sound like you even using the same instrument. And there's more. Finally, you can play it live you can bring it to the stage and play acoustic instrument solos. The days of replacing a violin, trumpet, or sax solo with a synth are over. Now, musicality doesn't come free. While triggering a sample is easy, the payoff is small. Learning to be expressive on a truly performable instrument like a SWAM instrument does take some practice. SWAM instruments don't require the years of study acoustic instruments demand, but still, you'll have to learn how to control the sound evolution and expressivity of your SWAM instrument in real time or in post-production. The payoff of this learning curve is the ability to play any musical phrase without the constraints of a fixed ADSR or canned articulation. You will be able to interact closely with your virtual instrument and learn how to create instrumental effects like generating overtones, transitions, or other natural physical gestures characteristic of a real instrument. You will quickly come to realize that your time is better spent learning a new skill than sitting in front of a screen browsing gigabytes of libraries. SWAM enables you to write a new counterpoint from inspiration to completed part within the time it takes to... Oh, sorry, the library is still downloading. Once you dig into SWAM, there is no turning back. The instrument user interfaces are organized into a few distinct areas to make it easy to grasp how to use them. The header has the preset selection, reset and panic buttons, the MIDI mapping button, and the main menu wizard under the three dots button. This wizard guides you in managing nearly every single part of the instrument. Simply open it and follow the steps. The main screen provides from top to bottom real-time controls for visualization, the instrument's parameters organized by category, and main volume, and room simulator controls. There is also a visual representation and animation of the instrument, shortcut buttons and faders for the most used parameters or functions, a system messages display that gives you feedback on sound attributes like articulations and selected playing modes, plus warnings and so forth, and a test keyboard showing the instrument range and key switches visualization, as well as the transpose setting. Now, all of the directions we're about to give you are valid with the default settings. You can go back to the default settings at any time by clicking the reset button in the header near the preset name. If you're running the standalone version, make sure you select the correct audio device and configure it to use an appropriate buffer size. The value of the buffer size has a direct effect on the MIDI communication and latency. If you don't know what to set, a sample rate of 44,100 Hz and a buffer size of 256 samples is a good start. You're now very close to starting to play with SWAM. Next, we connect a MIDI controller. To do that, 
press the MIDI button at the upper right. If you're using a DAW, you'll need to select the input controller on the track where you've loaded your SWAM instrument. If you are using the standalone version, after pressing the MIDI button, press the inputs button and select one or more MIDI ports that your controller or controllers are using. Then press the presets button and choose a default controller mapping from the list. You'll find maps in the list for many common controllers, which can get you started quickly. If your controller is not in the list, start with a generic configuration. Although it's possible to edit or automate any parameter in a DAW, the easiest way to start playing with SWAM instruments is with a MIDI keyboard, an expression pedal, and a mod wheel or wind controller. With practice, you'll have fun mapping more parameters and using different controller types. You should know that mapping controllers to parameters will become addictive. Mapping a controller to a parameter is easy. Press the MIDI button and the interface will display already mapped parameters in purple and those still available to be mapped in green. Click or tap on the parameter you want to map. The easiest mapping method is to simply click or tap the Learn button in the upper right and then move the controller. But you can enter the data to specify the controller if you'd rather. Wind, MPE, and other multi-dimensional controllers work great with SWAM because they provide many interface options for applying musical techniques and skills that will deliver the expressivity you want. The key to expressiveness and realism is the proper use of dynamics. Expression is the fundamental parameter to control for realistic dynamic response. For a SWAM instrument to truly sound realistic, the expression parameter needs to be controlled continuously. It can't stay at a fixed value. Always monitor the input expression value on the main display and adjust the dynamics accordingly. A useful trick is to set the overall monitoring volume fairly high at an average value of expression. This automatically prevents you from overusing higher levels of dynamics. A monitoring level that is too low can easily induce someone to rely on high expression values, which usually yields excessively biting sounds. As a rule of thumb, don't leave the expression parameter fixed to a value for more than one second. SWAM introduces a new and intuitive approach for controlling the attack and transition between notes in real time. When playing detached notes, a staccato articulation is performed, and the velocity controls the attack of the sound. So if you press hard on a key, you'll get a strong attack. If you press softly, you'll get a quiet attack. After the attack, the expression parameter controls the timbral evolution of the note. On the other hand, when playing connected notes, you generate a legato transition between two notes and the velocity controls the portamento time. This means that if the landing note is pressed hard, you'll get a very fast or instant legato. If you press the legato note softly, you'll get a slow portamento. This behavior is available when the portamento control parameter on the MIDI tab of the advanced panel is set to velocity. For wind controllers, velocity is usually ignored. The attack shape is controlled by the player's breath directly, and the portamento time can be controlled by a MIDI control change message. The default is CC5. Let's talk about playing modes and articulations. Any SWAM string section instrument can be played virtually using a bow or with a finger for pizzicato. This feature can be selected using the button on the home screen or on the play modes page. Where are the articulations? Well, it's not like a sample library where you just press a button. It's much more fun than that. 
almost all articulations are performed by a combination of three principal controls. Note on velocity, expression, and bow pressure. That's basically the same as what happens in real life. Articulations are the result of when and how the bow interacts, or not, with the strings. Swam's string section is so versatile that it allows combining multiple articulations. For example, tremolo and vibrato, tremolo and glissando, glissando and vibrato, and glissando harmonics and crescendo are all possible combinations. Here's a short list of primary articulations along with notes on playing them. Staccato, legato, and portamento. We just discussed a moment ago how these work with detached or connected notes. Portamento can be controlled with note on velocity or a dedicated CC message. Detaché. Separate the notes while pressing the sustain pedal. Martelet. Set the bow lift parameter to on string and play notes with high velocity and a high expression value at note on, then decrease expression. Spiccato. Set the bow lift parameter to off string and play short staccato notes. Flautando. Use low bow pressure and set bow pitch position high. Tremolo. Tremolo can be generated automatically using the tremolo parameter. or manually using the key switch. Bowing. Set the gesture mode parameter to Bowing. And move your expression controller back and forth. This can be used for an effective tremolo effect as well. Crescendo or diminuendo. Simply control expression over time and combine it with the bow pressure parameter to get more dramatic crescendos or diminuendos. Pizzicato. Set the play mode to pizzicato. Pizzicato Bartok style. Set play mode to pizzicato and play high note on velocities. Sordino. Set the sordino parameter to obtain a muted sound. Harmonics. Set the harmonics parameter to second to obtain overtones. Harmonics apply to either bow or pizzicato play modes and can be combined with other gestures like tremolo and sordino. With this quick introduction, you should have a solid foundation for starting your SWAM journey to a new way of playing and creating music. If you are accustomed to working with sample libraries, it is important to recognize that SWAM puts a fundamentally different tool into your toolbox, one that bridges production gaps, grants breathtaking flexibility, and fully unshackles expressivity. Focus on the four string sections, and remember that manipulating the flow and motion of each section individually is the key to building a realistic and organic string ensemble sound. 
layer each string section onto a different track to build the full string ensemble. Small or big, that's up to you. You can increase the size by adding other instances that automatically deal with mutual spatial interaction. Oh, and one more thing. The reason real string ensembles sound so rich and full is because there are four sections, each with multiple instruments, and every instrument is in a separate location in the room. To achieve that effect, Swarm String Sections has a powerful room simulator based on modeling, which lets you position each section, choose a room type, and adjust the reverb amount by moving a virtual microphone closer to or farther from the instruments. A bit of experimentation with that will probably significantly reduce the need for any post effects. Try to interact with these placements as you would if you were recording in real life. After mastering the basics of the attack, legatos, dynamics, and vibratos, you can start diving deeper into this absorbing and rewarding journey. The more you experiment, the more you'll find your own unique sound. So, go have fun and let's make great music together.